Now I, we are going to Kel's Boat Repair, Zzz, Kel's Boat Repairs, uh, where we're going to find Memory Card 12, and it will also open up the Path of the Hunter quest for the Maneater Shark, which will let you craft the Extended Arrow Quiver. I think that's all there is, yeah. So uh, this takes a long time, I'm sorry, I balls it up pretty spectacularly. Um, although there are some pretty fun moments if you want to watch. Otherwise, check the description, click show more to uh, find a quick link to the Maneater Shark section. Or just travel here, clear it, and go to the uh, bounty board. Anyway, I've tagged everyone, I think, although it turns out I've missed a couple of people. Uh, I pull him off the ledge from the water because it seemed like fun. And I try to pull this guy off, but that doesn't work, so I just get up and stab him a bit. And by this time, the alarm's going off. These guys are drunk and throwing bottles at me, but uh, the new submachine gun makes short work of them. I'm now on fire, so I figured diving in the water's probably my best bet. Uh, there's a couple of guys up there. I'm pretty much out of ammo, but I managed to clip one of them. Um, then this guy here goes down, and I don't think at any point to shoot the alarm out, so they managed to send it off a couple more times. That is one of my greatest Molotov shots ever. Hit a moving car in the back and take the guys out. And then there's a few guys running in from another car down here, so I line up a shot of them just as the car explodes. Kabloom! Which ruins my shot somewhat, but I managed to clip this guy on the run, which I'm quite happy with, and then this guy completely evades me. I failed to get him a bunch of times. So I uh, chuck a Molotov and take cover, only to find out that it's set one of them on fire, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this guy is giving me a bit of trouble, he's being a little bit evasive, so I come round here and catch him with a takedown, and I'm thinking, oh, well, that's it, and then I see on the mini-map a boat coming in. So I chuck a couple of Molotovs and now my aim is all off because I'm not sure about that distance. And there's water in the way so if it doesn't hit there it's no good. Uh, another boat's pulled up to the left of that with two guys uh, who've jumped out and a guy on a mounted gun who I pick off there. Uh, there is a dingo there, God knows where he's come from, I suspect uh, the cage which I find later, which is a bit weird in and of itself, I'll show you why, but that guy I try to flame, it fails, he's got a rocket launcher. There's a guy behind me, God knows where he's come from, so it's, just, it's just all gone a bit wrong at this point. Uh, then I catch on fire, <laughs> and so I heal. This guy is still giving me the run around but he thinks I'm over there for some reason, so I sneak up behind him and take him out, which just leaves two or three guys down by the boat, thankfully. So, I come around here, and there's a guy on a mounted gun, um, but again, the Molotov misses. It's the water I blame it on. There we go. The gunner is now finally dead, but I shoot him anyway. And then there's an RPG guy, I've slowed it down a bit here, he's run into the cage, which is genius. <laughs> I couldn't work that out, I was like, how did he get in the cage? Was he in the cage all along? And then, watching it back, I realised the dingo must have been in there, and he's gone in there thinking it's some kind of cover. Anyway, he's popped out now, and so I take him down, and there's just one guy up there, God knows how he got up there. Take him down, and finally, that's the outpost cleared. Wow. That was a bit of a mission. I recommend against sea assaults in the future. It's just, you come in a bit hot <laughs> and it's hard to dodge. Anyway, there's memory card number 12. I think it's CAT. Uh, it's pronounced K-H-A-T. It's uh, Yamani plantation owner. Africa and the Middle East. It's a uh, herb that workers in the field chew because it numbs them, I think. I remember reading about it somewhere. Apparently it gives a mild buzz. Anyway, here is the rare path of the hunter quest for a man to shark carcass. Uh, so head to the designated location, it's just at the end of the jetty there, and I took this boat because I was thinking, oh, I can fire it on it with a mounted gun, but then remembered there's weapon restrictions on these Path of the Hunter things. So I go out to the middle of the blue zone, and I would recommend taking a jib rather than one of these big boats, just because getting up on the side is a pain. Um, I'm just shooting all the sharks I can see at the moment, and it takes two shots with the bow to take out a regular shark. Um, only get them when they're at the surface. Once they dive a little bit, they won't. your bow won't hit them as easily. Uh, I'm looking around for other ones, but I can't see any, so I pop a path of the hunter. A path of the hunter. I pop a hunter's instinct in a second. Here we go. And that helps me spot them. And the man-eater shark is actually that one. And he's a slightly darker colour than the rest. Although you really only ever get to see his fin. 
and you'll see here now he has uh, submerged I was gonna say surfaced but submerged uh, and when he is underwater when he submerges when his fin isn't poking through you're gonna have a much harder time hitting him and it doesn't help that I'm shooting miles away from him at this point and another shark's rocked up so I get up here for a slightly better view that guy's way underwater at this point so I go take a bead on the other one hoping he'll pop out uh, but he doesn't and the other guy surfaces so uh, here we go his fin just emerges now so I pick him off finally God knows how many arrows he took, but I'm down to six. So the other thing to be wary of is don't run out of arrows. Keep an eye on your load. Use the camera to track him and then switch to the machine gun because the man-eater's dead and kill sharks as they should be with a gun. Stupid sharks. Anyway, now it's a bit of a mission because the shark's fallen in a funny place between two rocks uh, to get the skin, so I speed this up a bit. Um, it took me a couple of dives to get him properly. But once he's skinned, you can craft the pouch. I'll show that at the end. There we go. Uh, and there is a sort of underwater Mayan ruin, or I don't know, Asian ruin, or whatever it is. Probably not Mayan. Um, but this ruin here with a lot of chests in it. So I'm going to go farm some blue plants a little bit later and make some breathing potions to go and explore that properly. Anyway, head back to the jetty. Craft your new bow, your new quiver. There we go. Extended arrow quiver, uh, man eating shark can now carry 30 regular arrows and 10 specials and I actually forgot about specials entirely and at the moment I can only craft fire arrows so it's not a big deal but I craft a couple of those because I might want to use them later in a future bow challenge anyway that's your lot bit of a massive one hope it was useful let me know in the comments what you thought lots of love see you next time bye